All right, welcome back everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So we're gonna do a real quick video. I said I was done with testing, but there's one other thing I wanna try. We can make a quick couple minute video here and see if there's any difference. So basically I took the fan and that diffuser forcing cone that I had, flipped it to the opposite side so it's necking down and forcing air right between these ice makers. So basically this is just a for another forced air test that should increase velocity. It's directing it right between the ice makers. I just want to check and see. So let's see if the results are not good. I'm not even going to post this video. If they are, it's food for thought, something for us to chew on real quick before I get into version 2.0 build. It's something that just popped in my head. So I really want to try it before I go get everything I need to build the second ice maker. I have never seen it overflow this much. I'm actually really excited about this. I think we have our highest weight yet. Now how do I get all this in here? I already know I'm gonna spill stuff everywhere. All right, I'm teared out. Odd is we had a little chunk freeze together. I've never had that happen before. Wow. 8.06 pounds. Holy moly. What's going on here? No way. Thirteen pounds, y'all. 13 pounds, I kid you not. 13.12 um, pounds. What the heck happened? Did that thing really make that much of a difference? All right, so it's been another 24 hours and I'm super excited about this test. I can't believe that I just up and decided to try this right after releasing the last video, basically saying I was done. We're just gonna move on to the build and kind of wing it from here, so to speak, and take a lot of the data that we've learned and apply it to the next build. Fingers crossed. I don't know that we'll get 13 pounds again, but if we blow that 10 pound mark out of the water by doing this force cone or diffuser cone for the second day in a row, we've learned something. We learned something very important, but let me shut up, let's weigh it. It could be eight pounds for all I know, but getting over 13 pounds yesterday, dang, that was a heck of an increase. Let's see. It's looking good. It overflowed everywhere in there, but it looks like the pan really did catch it. I can clearly see where the ice is. That pan fits so good in here. So I'm noticing something. Uh, these last two days I've been running this test, I've been getting a solid block of ice right there. I'm wondering if the fan is forcing so much warm air when I open and close, it's actually causing a tiny little bit of melting right here. So let's see here, what do we have? 6.43 pounds. All right, 4.86. So we did not hit that crazy 13 today, but look at that, our second highest ever. So it's weird that they were that much difference apart, but without a doubt, we are getting record amounts of ice out of this. So okay, so something worth noting, it looked like both ice makers had ice in them that was completely frozen and they were not far from dumping. That would have easily put us in the 12 plus pound range. So again, it's all about timing. That's why I do two days. Really, it would be better to do three and four days and average the numbers together. But without a doubt, we are seeing one heck of an increase and why? Why are we seeing that? It all has to do with velocity. I have put this forcing cone right here on this. It is necking down the air, increasing velocity and pushing it right through the ice makers, hitting the back wall. Not only is it hitting the underside of the ice makers, it's hitting the top. That's an important point that we really need to discuss. 
All right, so I'm really excited and really nervous about how to move forward on version 2.0. I have plans in my head how to really increase velocity and put a lot of very cold air on the bottom side of the ice makers, basically right on the molds themselves. A lot of people agree that's the best place to put it, but I'm concerned I may go through the expense and trouble of doing that and maybe the air needs to be on top. As you can see right there, I think we've got more air hitting the top of the ice makers, kind of pulling probably some evaporation off as warm water comes in. Uh, so I'm a bit nervous about moving forward with version 2.0 and just hitting the bottoms. But either way, I think we can say without a doubt, it's velocity, it's absolute air velocity. Temperature makes a difference, but velocity is making far more of a difference than I ever realized. That's what I really need to go after is increasing airspeed. So I've already done ordered a few more things for the next build. We're gonna get a tremendous amount of air movement in there. Now it is gonna come at a cost. Kilowatt hour usage is up, running a more powerful fan. However, I crunched the numbers, 0.22 uh, kilowatt hours per pound of ice, practically nothing. Before we were getting 0.20 and 0.21, so only a slight increase, but our production increase, so it's almost evening now. I'm gonna pull some data here too. Seeing that both ice makers are getting ready to dump, I think that's the reason why we weren't extremely high today, but 11 pounds and something is still awesome. But I'm gonna pull the data off of this. It's been a warmer day today than it was the day before. That probably has something to do with that crazy 13 pounds, but either way, gosh, it's burning up right now. <laughs> but either way, um, there it goes, they just dumped. Did y'all hear that? We would have been over 12 pounds today. Now this makes me want to run more tests like this. Oh, what to do? Do I do, I do the fans and ice makers at the same location on version 2.0 or do I do them at a different location, which is what I'm leaning toward? I got a lot to think about here. I will get you that, that build out. Thank y'all so much for watching. I want to share this. I want to keep this video quick. Um, but looks like there is a ton more potential in these ice makers than I ever thought. So we'll see what we can squeeze out of version 2.0. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.